Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add your feature class data in your GeoDatabase file in ArcGIS Pro and add those to your QGIS project. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So this is my project in ArcGIS Pro. And as you can see here in the catalog pane, I have a GeoDatabase. And within it, I have two feature classes, a point layer and a polygon layer. And just to show you what those look like, this is just some random data. And again, what we're trying to do is pull this data that's in the GeoDatabase into QGIS. So I'm going to open up QGIS. And the top menu bar, come up here and click on Layer, Add Layer. Oops add vector layer. Now normally when we add layers and we have a file outside of that geo database, we use the file source type. And then we click here and we go into wherever that file lives. But in this case, being in the geo database, we click on directory, the vector data sets, we're going to click on to that ellipse button. And within your uh, file structure here, you're going to see this geo database. It was called default in my ArcGIS Pro document, and it's called default here as well. So I'm just going to select onto that folder. Again, that's the geo database. And down below, I'm going to select select folder. It says list all tables. I'm going to say yes and click on add. Sorry, I have two screens that popped up on my other screen. But here you can see my point layer and my polygon layer. And I can either say select all or I could just select one individually or select both. And we click on add layers. And then I could close out of this window. And as you see, this is that same data set that I had in ArcGIS Pro. So that was just a quick tutorial, but I found that useful and I definitely want to share that with you. If you're new to this channel, uh, welcome and uh, please hit that subscribe button because I put out uh, tutorials every week. And if you're an existing member, I do appreciate that. As always, guys, if you have any questions, uh, please leave those in the comments down below. Or if you have any uh, suggestions on future videos. I always appreciate that as well. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.